Though I am by fate at the dawn of my days, O southern mountains I am repulsed from you. To remember them forever, you must be there once. Like the sweet song of my fatherland, I love the Caucasus. Artem Gracha Caucasian Prisoner The Caucasus, glorified in the poems of Mikhail Yurievich Lermontov, I happened to visit back in my early childhood, and just like the great Russian poet, I became its captive forever. On New Year's Eve 2014, I am once again going on a trip to spend the New Year vacations in the Stavropol territory. To admire the beauty of mountainous republics, Kabardino Balkaria and Karachavo Cherkessia, and also to climb the highest peak of Russia and Europe, the two headed Elbrus. We leave our native Vladimir, leaving the Assumption Cathedral in the rearview mirror, majestically rising on the high bank of the Klyazma River. And we enter the Meshera National Park, where, along with the Vladimir region, the asphalt ends and the vibration test for the car's suspension begins. Then through the towns of Tuma and Spas Klepiki, past the great Meshera lakes, we leave for the city of Riazan, where we will find dull, winter landscapes. The city of Lipetsk, we pass at dusk, and suddenly the snow begins to snow. Closer to night finally covers the road and visibility drops to zero. And we have nothing to do but to stop for the night. But in the next morning the Krasnodar region, as it should be the main breadbasket of the country, welcomes us with a bright and warm sun, warming and delighting the eye with the boundless green fields. Upon reaching Yesentuki, we go to the city's medicinal park, which is the heart of the city and its main attraction. The park attracts not only by its unique mineral springs, but also by its magnificent architectural and landscape ensemble. The park is a man-made miracle, which for decades, was created in the swampy steppe, where mineral water springs came to the surface. Streams of mineral water, flowing down from the slopes of a small hill, formed a rivulet, 
which locals called Kislusha for the salty sour taste of water. But despite its peculiar taste, the water liked the horses of the Cossacks, who served in a Sentuki redoubt. In 1810, the famous Moscow doctor Fyodor Petrovich Gaz visited these places and heard a story from the Cossacks about the healing, horse spring. Having taken a sample and made an analysis of the water, the scientist established its medicinal and mineral properties, and he named the spring Catherines. In 1823 these places visited the St. Petersburg Medical Surgical Academy Professor Alexander Petrovich Nelubin, who discovered another 20 springs, Besides those discovered by Gauss, he numbered them and divided them according to their chemical composition into groups, saline alkaline and sulfur alkaline. A great historical merit of Alexander Petrovich Nelubin is that he was the first to point out the value of a Sentuki alkaline saline waters, predicted their great future and insisted on the most rapid improvement, as well as the development of the domestic Yesentuki resort. The Yesentuki Resort began as a park by the order of Prince Mikhail Semenovich Volontsov, governor of the Caucasus. Since 1847, the mineral springs in the surrounding territory, within the current spa park, were withdrawn from the Cossack troops and transferred to the specially created Directorate of Waters in the city of Pyatigorsk. Spring Gallery 17 is the oldest building in Yesentuki Spa Resort, which is located on the bottom alley of the spa park. It was built in 1856 by architect Upton, who also built a palace for Prince Vaantsov in Alupka. The original place of the exit of the main stream, spring number 17, marked with a cast iron column with a figure of a dove. In 1927 the purpose of the gallery has been changed, it was reconstructed and insulated, as well as held overhead lighting and summoned the water sources number 17 and 20. Gallery number 17 was built of hewn mashic stone in the English Gothic style. Limestone and sandstone for its construction were brought by oxen from the Alakonovsky Gorge, and white travertine from quarries at the foot of Mashik Mountain. In our time the gallery was faced with grey and pale marble from the inside, and the floor was covered with coloured concrete. Originally the building was supposed to be used as a shelter in bad weather while drinking mineral water. In 1901 a theatre building was added to the gallery, which greatly changed its architectural appearance. The gallery became closed and has remained as it is today. In the theatre performances in which played and sang the great Russian artists, K. A. Varlamov, M. G. Savina, V. F. Komisarzevskaya, L. V. Sobinov, F. Shalapin. The alleys of the park, remember, the footsteps of great people, the director K. S. Stanislavsky, composers S. V. Rachmaninov, S. S. Prokofiev, writers A. I. Kuprin, B. G. Korolenko, A. M. Gorky and many others. In 1902 was built a large and beautiful building of the new salt alkaline baths designed by architect Ivan Ivanovich Baikov for 23 male and female cabins with hydropathy and light therapy. In the same year, a light wooden mechanotherapy building was put into operation, called the Institute of Medical Gymnastics after the Swedish physician Xander, who developed a system of mechanotherapy for the harmonious development of the body with the help of special machines for active and passive gymnastics. Yesentuki Resort has purchased 64 devices invented by Xander. Institute of Mechanotherapy is still in operation today and is one of the attractions of the resort. In 1903 in the park appeared new elegant pavilions, Orianda, from which you can admire the view of Elbrus and the surrounding landscape, Captain's Bridge, in 1903, the Orianda and the Captain's Bridge, as well as sculptures of the eagle and the little man in sandals and with a jug of mineral water, sitting in the shade of the trees, were added to the park. At the beginning of the 20th century, the park occupies a total of 35 hectares of land and is divided into three parts. Old, Vaontsovsky, Upper, where almost all the springs and bathhouses are located, and Pantolimanovsky, a young park, located near the church of St. Pantolimon. In the lower Vaontsov park have grown shady alleys, 
stretching from the main entrance to the park to the building of the sulfur alkali baths and beyond. In the main alley of the lower park are several beautiful drinking fountains, built in the ancient style by the architect Semyonov. During the Soviet regime, work on the improvement and decoration of the park continued diligently. In 1936-1938 were built inhalatorium and the left wing of the lower mineral baths. Also, the park was replenished with new beautiful medical buildings. In 1899 was completed construction of the upper baths, called Nicholas, with cabins for mineral and mud baths, designed by architect N. Dmitriev. After the liberation of Yesentuki from the Nazis, intensive restoration work was carried out, which allowed to put in order the entire park. In 1955, the spa park decorated the grand entrances designed by architect P. P. Yeska. The central entrance to the park is decorated with monolithic columns, two cascade stairs, between which are placed a large and several small fountains, go down to the lower alley of the park. In the central part of the park, in the lower alley, there is the spring gallery number four. This is a modern building, built anew in 1967 from glass and stone, namely Kislovodsky Dolomite. The facade of the building is decorated with mosaics and symbolizes the friendship of women of different nations. In the gallery, brought mineral waters such as Asentuki 4 from several springs, which used to have separate wells. Today, the therapeutic factor of the park is not only the mineral water, but also the abundance of greenery, sunshine and clean air. It is obvious that the spa park will continue to serve more than one generation, surprise the eye with beautiful architectural monuments, as well as bring health and joy to its visitors. Well, the episode about Asentuki came to an end. If you liked it, then subscribe to the channel and click like. Also, you can support me donate, links in the description of the video. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye bye.